When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we are gonna unbox some of these 90s mystery boxes. Some of these 90s boxes have been here for quite a bit, so it was definitely my original video concept was to start from kind of the bottom up, because these top ones like just recently came from you guys about a month ago, but uh, this one was stacked up here, uh, not by me. This one right here must be full of 90s rocks and boulders because I was gonna like switch the boxes around, but it is so heavy, so heavy, uh, that the only, I, I'm, I, I have to cut it open and empty the contents out before I can move the box. So we're doing these ones first, even though they are newer, but never you fear, we will ultimately open them all. Better late than never, 90s mystery box. Oh my God, nothing's happening. Okay, this has to be like the dullest knife in the universe. Anybody remember salad fingers? Oh my god. Many years before I had a YouTube channel, I literally just thought YouTube was like a place for salad fingers. First 10 minutes, just me. Got to open some tape. Ooh, it looks like it's full of books. Oh my god, full of so much. What? I want to do this. Create your own zoo. My god. Okay, this is very exciting. This is going to be Dogman and I's activity for the night. I want to make the frog. Somewhere in the recesses of my mind, I swear I bought this at one point in like a book fair or something. Oh my god, it still has paper. This looks so familiar to me. Look at this! It's like the book that everyone gets for graduation where it's called, Oh, the Places You'll Go. Ooh, party edition! Look at the sparkles. I love Dr. Seuss. Oh my god. Look, we found a gator. Gator coming out of the gutter. Up next, we have some magical playing cards. It's me, Bunny. Oh my God, is this Zorro? I love Zorro. I feel like Zorro is not a properly celebrated hero. Happy 90s day from Jake, Mish, and Jazzy. We've got Mardi Gras beads. Look, we can oh, try and catch them. Do you guys go to Mardi Gras? I love Mardi Gras. Look, I'm tossing them to you. I've always wanted to be on a float. I feel like that's really hard though. You have to like have friends or something. You don't just have to have friends, but you have to have special Mardi Gras float friends. You know the type I mean? Is this a condom? So we have a condom and popcorn. Then, oh my God. Oh, I, I get it now. It's cause it's, it's movie night. See what I'm saying? Aladdin and the King of Thieves. I don't think I've ever seen a Pocahontas and a Stasia? Literally, that's why I can't pick up this box. Look, it's all the Disney classics. The rest is just literally full of VHSs. I don't think I've ever seen The Swan Princess either. Freaking Hunchback of Notre Dame. I haven't watched that one in a really long time. We also have what appears to be some CDs in here. We have Corn. Stop me if I'm holding up your favorite artist, Billy Joel. Disc four. I had this very scary music. Um, then we've got, what is this? Oh my God, Jessica Simpson. Oh my God. My friend and I, my best friend from high school, we were obsessed with this Incubus CD. We took it on every school field trip and we shared a set of headphones and it was a magical experience. Blondie Live, Limp Bizkit. Uh, pink. There's somebody I haven't seen in a hot minute. We've got Cher's butt. Literally. Look at that. Thank you, Cher. Thank you so much, Jake, Mish, and Jazzy for all of the fun stuff. The classic 90s VHSs. All right, into this box. Oh, I can actually pick this one up. This comes from Rachel. Okay, where did that knife go? The one that actually cuts. Fly sing, fly sing. I wish I had developed like a special 90s mail unboxing song. I've got the mail, the mail, the sassy mail, the sassy mail. And I forgot to clap. So hopefully you guys had your clapping hands ready. Funny, please read first. All right, I will pause and I will read. This one is in like special ordered 
instruction style. So um, they were just saying like, please open everything in order. So see like this has a two on it. I see a number 10 in here. So they say this is 90s and also some early 2000s as well. So it looks like we're gonna go from number one to maybe number 11. Number one. Oh my God, I need that chills guy to be like, If I was haunting your house, that's the kind of ghost that I would be. Just phantom stepping on bubble wrap. Like, you're just about to go to sleep or something, and I'm like, <laughs> um, that would be me. Time to open item number one. Item number one. Ooh, item number one has two things. Ooh, what is this? It's a sporkle. What? What? Oh, I kind of remember this brand. Oh, I'm going to open both things and show them to you at the same time. Ew, I love these. Oh, these are nice. Okay, we have two fashion type items. Uh, the first thing I opened, I swear, looks so familiar. The brand is called Art Stuff and it's roll on body glitter. And this definitely looks like from the 90s because it is a little bit liquidy soupy in there but so fun to put on display. Then we've got these luscious, gorgeous, pink uh, butterfly glasses. Where's number two? Oh, here's number two. Two! Oh, look at this. This is so cute. I was about to say like, I'm getting such in the Halloween spirit already, but I'm like, who am I getting? I'm in the Halloween spirit just year round, just Halloween, hoo hoo hoo. Cute little bag and it seems to be full of like cosmetic goodies. Oh my God, do you remember these like pop out hair brushes? This looks like, oh my gosh, so cute. It's like a bedazzled headband. This is a fuzzy slap leopard Flat bracelet. Ooh, let's do that again. Can we get an instant, 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 we can't talk. Can we get an instant replay? Fashion. Bon Bon Swirly Lip Gloss. Then we have, I love this. I deeply love this. It's a Conair keychain. <laughs> I almost sneezed the spikes right off of my head. Uh, but we've got a little Conair keychain. You put your own photo in here and the other side is a little mirror. It has been forever since I have seen this shape of hand sanitizer. Do you guys remember? Now they're like the little more oval shapes. Oh my God, I put on this face mask. I'm like deeply regretting it. Does my face look red to you guys? It's one of those nights where I'm like, Am I having an allergic reaction to what I just did? Number three! It looks like we have tons of cute jewelry and accessories in here. Well, this is a headband. Um, and then we've got this little baggie containing various jewelry items. Oh my gosh, look at this ring. Do you guys remember these like jelly style rings? Then we have, oh my gosh, I love that one. It's a star. Glittery. I swear I had this one before, a peace sign. This is actually a little toe ring of a bunch of hearts. I think this is a toe ring as well, like a little dangly flower one. And then we have these couple, which are stackers. They've got little jewels on the top. And we have a camo rhinestone dog tag. The other items in here are a bunch of those jelly bracelets. Remember people would like thread them together, wear a ton at once. That is definitely like an early 2000s throwback. Okay, I think we're now on number four. Yes, number four, a small box. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a butterfly temporary tattoo, but look at this alien eraser. That is so awesome. There's a little bunny and a triangle too, but the alien is definitely my 
favorite. Number five. I love how all of these items are grouped together with like cosmetic stuff, jewelry, like stationary type items. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I feel like I've said that every single time, but <laughs> I remember earrings like this. I hope you guys are going to be able to see because they are really tiny, um, but they are it's like a dolphin wrapped around like a little blue, um, I don't know what to call it. I keep wanting to call it a bead. And then we have a matching dolphin. Oh, I couldn't tell if it was a necklace or a bracelet, but it's definitely a necklace. That is so cute. Number six. Look at this. We've got um, two big spider earrings. I love that. Of course I love that. These are so cute. These kind of remind me of the Limited 2 logo. Number seven. Ew. Looks like a CD. Oh my gosh. It's Jerry Halliwell. Guys, remember? Spice Girl? Ginger Spice? Why did I not know she had like a solo CD? Oh, that's an odd shape. Any guesses on what that could be? Let's open it and find out. Oh my god, look at what we've got in here. It is a Lisa Frank set. Look at this adorable dolphin pencil. I feel like this is a sacred item. You guys, I'm always browsing for vintage Lisa Frank items and like trapper keeper stuff. And people, like I found a Lisa Frank trapper keeper. It's Oh my god. It's got a skeleton on the on the front. I think it's a skeleton skateboarding and they are charging $777 for a trapper keeper. And I found one of these as well because I had one very similar to this when I was a kid. I think somebody was charging like $100 for this. So this is like a sacred piece of Lisa Frank history. All right, number nine. Ooh la la, it's in a Victoria's Secret bag. Paper, paper, what do you contain? Oh, paper. Ooh, what, is this something's butt? Is it a butt? Oh, it's a bird. I was like, are you a butt? It's a bird. Its name is Early. <laughs> Get it? Early bird? It's the early bird. This is the first mind-blowing thing that I just saw. Do you guys remember BFF by Smackers? Wait, does Smackers? Well, yeah, Lip Smackers exists, but do they call it just Smackers anymore? It's Smackers. Look at these little miniature claw clips. They don't make them like this anymore. I love claw clips and I'm always on the lookout for different colored ones, different shaped ones, etc. And I don't have much luck. Is this? Oh my god, this is like a knockoff Kermit one. This is like, I feel like this is like a good luck charm. And then we have a bunch of little sparkly clips in here as well. Oh my god, I had these and I miss them. I always got blue stuff. I'm getting back into the color blue, but I always bought and wore and had blue stuff all growing up. Um, okay, number 10 and Tinkerbell is here. What do we have? What do we, oh, we have a rooster. I almost called him a turkey. And then we've got another beanie baby. Oh my God, what is going on with this one? This is hilarious, it's like two roosters. 1996 okay and then this one yeah 2000 look at the times they are a changing 11 oh it's right in my hand i'm like i'm looking for number 11 i love this cow bag aesthetic goals oh my god okay i see look at somebody's little face in here it's so cute is it a bear or a hedgehog what do you guys think bear hedgehog could be either oh my god neither it's a poodle the surprises continue. So cute. This is like a different kind of Thai animal. It's like, it's almost like a beanie baby, but also not a beanie baby, but it has beans in it, but it moves. So it's not like a beanie baby. I don't know what's happening here. Look, it has a completely different tag. My mind is blown right now by this beanie baby experience. Then we just have this cute little bear. Number 12, I think we're on, yes. Ew, that's in a Hot Topic bag. Oh, other thing. Ooh, oh my God. It's a little sailor bear. She's so cute in her little sailor outfit. It's a Care Bear. Look at this. Is this like Leaf Bear? He's got a leaf head. Yes. What? What is the name of this Care Bear? I think we're on number 13. 
right? Ew! Oh my god. I literally was just looking for one of these on Etsy. I'm just rolling myself up by. Um, I'm just rolling myself out of the video. Look at this fanny pack. You guys, I, fanny packs are on the rise again. No, like I feel like every brand right now is coming out with fanny packs, but look at this. Okay, this is for like true utility purposes. We got card holders, we got clippy clippies, we got pouches. Number 14, uh, I actually remembered which number is next for once. It looks like a t-shirt. Oh my God, what is it? Oh, it says love. I was like, wait, what is this word? Um, I actually love these colors. I love them. Number 15. Ooh, more clothes. What is this? Smile? Johnny. Peace, love, smile. It's my new song. Ew, look at the Oh, that is adorable. Look at this little cow. Look at this little fuzzy cow. It's faux cow, by the way. Or is it supposed to be Dalmatian? Faux Dalmatian. Um, love this little side satchel so cute it's like a little i swear these are coming back too these like pouch bags Ooh, look at this little skirt this is so cute all right on to the last oh we did okay uh but this is like the last thing in the box which oh my god we have more sacred lisa frank items get a load of this we have two oh look at this leopard's face he's got some secrets then we've got I had this one. I had this. It's so cute. So many cute stickers. I love the little Lisa Frank raccoon. Does anybody remember his name? I definitely remember the koala. Little poppy dogs. Little polar bears. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, summer 2000 old navy. Oh my god. Don't you guys remember? Did they still do that? Um, where they had the 4th of July shirts and like it was like a thing. You couldn't hardly wait to go to Old Navy during like 4th of July time and get those 4th of July Old Navy shirts. Do you have that memory? Because I have that memory. Let's open one more. I feel like this one has been here for a while so... Let's do this one. Where did my knife go? Thank you so much, Rachel, for that awesome box. So much TLC love and care into like numbering all the things and grouping them together. That was a wonderful experience. This comes from Sonia um, and it says on the side, gotta have faith, the right stuff right here waiting and then on the other side it says spooky tale as old as time to boldly go Ooh, that sounds like a star trek reference i must admit i am more of a of a star trek person than a star wars person slicing slicing streamers oh it is it, oh it's like oh 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 my god, these are like recycled plastic bag streamers? Oh, that's genius and fun. I've never thought, oh, they float. There should be a whole industry for recycling plastic bags this way. Okay, we have a card right here on the tap. Let's go ahead and give it an open. Thank you so much, Sonia. Look at that. We have Janet Jackson concert tickets. What? Oh my god, we've got a Pulp Fiction like mini poster this is amazing hello john travolta look at this freaking tv guide i don't even think that they sell this anymore because everyone just does the internet for everything now but do you guys remember when you could like go to the grocery store and pick up i always remember seeing these and then for the soap operas like there would be a whole like weekly guide to like oh like what's gonna happen next i miss soap operas do they still exist at all i literally watched all my children from the time that i was born until the time that it stopped coming on i, I still can't believe they canceled that okay some of us were 23 years invested in that show 
me tv guy yes uh what year did this come out i'm trying to see what year this was 1994 she put a date in here oh my god i love it then we have oh we got a couple of new kids on the block items look at this this is got new kids mania uh yeah who doesn't look at that okay uh new kids on the block and then we've got the lives and loves of new kids on the block look at that and then oh my god i love these look at this like, this is a giant button. You can freaking wear this with pride. Can you imagine? You're at a new boys, new boys, new boys, new boys, bad boys. Uh, you're at a new kids on the block concert and you got this pinned front and center. Look at how he's so wholesome too. Look at his wholesome little face. Oh my God. Where are they today? What are they doing? Can I do a YouTube collab with the new kids on the block? Um, oh, we got another. Oh, we have a rose. Will you accept this, Rose? Um, purchased at Walt Disney World on the Ice Beauty and the Beast show. Look at, oh my god. This is so awesome. It actually has Beauty and the Beast ribbon on it. And it has the uh, Disney World on Ice um, hang tag still. That is so cool. Look. Matching. Oh my god, now I can have two. Streamers, streamers, oh, streamers. Oh yes. Oh my god. Look, John and Jordan. Look at this. We can literally, we have such a magical VHS collection now. Look at that. Look at all the new kids on the block. We can watch all their shows, learn all the dances. It's going to be an experience. Wait, this is like a treasure. Are you sure you meant to send me this? Um, look at all of these buttons. Oh, this is amazing. I love how this looks. I just want plastic, like honestly, hanging off my headband. This is fashion. And I'm going to the Met Gala next year. And this is what I'm going to be wearing. It's called trashin look it up now i have a bonnet don't you wish you had a bonnet well you can if you recycle your plastic and turn it into hat this is amazing look at the official band club member that is me look at these earrings this is so cool it's literally just full of all of these buttons and keychains Oh my god, this is like precious. This is the stuff that I stay up at night favoriting on Etsy. <laughs> oh, is this a doll? Are these dolls? Oh my god, they're dolls. What year did this... Oh my god, we have a KB toy logo. I think I talked about KB toys a little bit when we opened the miniature caboodles a couple of months ago, but oh my, I miss KB toys. $7.99 KB toys. We got Jordan and Joe. I just love the packaging. Oh my god, of course I do. This is just my aesthetic. Um, my aesthetic is 1994 New Kids on the Block. We have a couple items left in here, and this was so much fun. I never wanted to end. And we have Halloween books and look at how cute this is. Our haunted house. Oh my god, how about the beast who couldn't say boo? Okay, this is a deep memory, a deep memory. If any of you guys know the book I'm talking about, leave the title as a comment down below. But I used to have little Halloween books like this. I swear that they were soft cover too. It had to either be the late 80s or the early 90s. And there was like pictures of scarecrows and stuff, but they had like the raised glow in the dark, like, you know, like the puffy paint kind of stuff. If you guys know, that's so obscure. I'm literally giving you no clues. It's like, if you ever saw a glow in the dark scarecrow in the late 80s, let me know in the comments down below. And we've got the new kids on the block special. Um, I thought that this was going to be like a pop-up book, but oh my god, it's like a, it's like a little yearbook. This is okay. 1990, um, on the cusp of the greatest decade. Look at this. Oh my, that's me. Thank you so much, Sonia. Um, I have had a wonderful experience today. I hope you guys have too. Uh, we have four 90s boxes left right now. We'll see when I open them next. We'll see what channel I open them on. 
these channels are roughly the same. Thank y'all so much for sharing all of these treasures with me. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!